All right, guys, I'm gonna try to do this one more time because I haven't had very much luck uh, this far. Uh, but I wanna say right off the bat that I'm a big fan and supporter of what it is that James Gunn and Peter Safran and everybody at DC is trying to do. I'm not a big fan of what the fans, the so-called fans are doing, you know, being rude and mean and sending awful messages and comments to these people who are trying to make DC better. And at the end of the day, if you had to get rid of somebody like Henry Cavill to start a new universe, we don't entirely know if that's what they're doing. They might pick and choose what they want to keep. And that's a part of what the, the hate is going into, like somebody like James Gunn, is that people are assuming that he's going to keep his Suicide Squad and people are assuming that he's going to keep, um, you know, his wife and all the movies and this and that. And I don't particularly agree with the, those sentiments, you know? At the end of the day, they're trying to go somewhere. They have this plan. They're trying to go somewhere with these characters and build up the characters to make these grandiose big movies that make money and that make the fans happy. I don't think there's anything wrong with wanting to make money and make the fans happy at the same time. They'd be passionate about something and make money at the same time. See, these people, these people that are so-called fans or so-called supporters of DC and this and that, whether it's Marvel or DC, they try to demonize the idea of these companies wanting to make money. In some cases, it is just about making money. But I think in this specific instance, DC is trying to, Warner Brothers is trying to make up for their past mistakes. Well, it's not the same people. It's different people trying to make up to the fans and to make up to the characters and make something that works and make something that is, is, um, <clears throat> that is uh, competition for Marvel. And I don't care who you are. I'll tell you right now, if DC got their shit together, they could absolutely smoke Marvel. And I believe that to the end of the day. I'm a big Marvel fan, 100%. I love the MCU. I love Marvel Comics. I love Spider-Man and Iron Man and Captain America and all this and that. But if DC really got their stuff together, they could smoke Marvel. And that's just a fact. Mar DC has so many amazing characters and just the Bat family alone is competition for Marvel. And I believe that 100%. This guy right here, by himself, is competition with Marvel if he's done properly. There's a lot of people out there who don't like Superman, and that's because they don't really understand Superman. And we haven't had a version of Superman that really represents the character properly since 1970, <clears throat> 1978. Um, but I gotta say that I'm a pretty big fan of this dude right here. And whether it's played by Henry Cavill, whether he's played by Henry Cavill or somebody else, I'm all on board. I understand the, the reasonings for getting rid of this particular version of Superman, trying to start fresh with a clean slate. We don't know how clean that slate is. Like I said, we don't know what they're going to keep and what they're not going to keep. But at the end of the day, if they needed somebody younger to play Superman to make it so they could make a longer running universe, then fine. Maybe it's a soft reboot and maybe they're going to keep some elements and get rid of some. But two of the things that might have to change is the Batman and the Superman to make it so they can be around longer. I'm all for that, you know? I love Henry Cavill as Superman. I love Brandon Routh as Superman. I love Christopher Reeves as Superman. I haven't seen too much of Tyler to really give my opinion on him, and I haven't watched Smallville, so I can't give you my opinion on him either. But I love this character, and I don't have a particularly favorite version of the character, but I love what he represents. And I don't care who you got to get to play the character. As long as the character is done justice and DC is done justice. And at the end of the day, that's all I care for. You've got these people who are whining and complaining about the Snyderverse and whining and complaining about this and that. And sure, Henry Cavill could have been and would have been the best Superman of all time. I definitely believe that. He has the ability to do that. But there's a lot more that goes into it than just Henry being there. Um... And like I said, if they have to go a completely different route in order to give us the fans what they deserve, then I'm on board and I support. I'm in support of James Gunn and Peter Safran and what it is that they're trying to do. You know, I would be absolutely in love with the idea of seeing these characters early on in their career. Don't mistake that for Origins because that's not what was said. I don't think just because the characters are early in their years means that they don't know what they're doing. It means that they're just earlier in a timeline if they're earlier in a timeline then that means we can spend more time with them you know 
at the end of the day, I think that's particularly all that that means. If we have a younger Superman, then we can be with that Superman for longer. Um, and I think that's the same for Batman. Um, <clears throat> and I, that's, that's just what I would love to see. Um, and Peter uh, and James Gunn has kind of hinted at the idea of Kingdom Come. Um, and this, we've heard a lot about this eight to ten year plan. I don't know how easy it would be to fit Kingdom Come into the end of a ten year plan when you're starting off with a Superman that's in his early years. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, right off the bat, unless they do some sort of um, time jump or something like that. But at the end of the day, they have a plan and they have an idea. And me as a DC fan, I'm in support of that. I love this character. I love Batman. I love the DC universe. There's so much to love about it. You know, the Justice League, the Flash by himself has an amazing group of characters to pull from. The Green Lantern has an amazing group of characters to pull from. There's so many stories that would be so cool to see um, and eventually br branch off into multiverse stories. You've got your Crisis on Infinite Earths, your Final Crisis, your Infinite Crisis, all of these different stories that you could pull from, like the Flashpoint and... Um, uh, even if they at some point did the Doomsday Clock, that would be really cool. But we have, there's things to think about and to be like, oh, what if they did this or what if they went here? There's so many different things. Obviously, they can't do all of it, but now we can really kind of to think about it and be like, oh, what's coming next? Before, we couldn't get that. We didn't have that. The universe started off poorly and it just didn't work. I mean, the DC Extended Universe came out and started in 2013, which was supposed to start in 2011 with Green Lantern, but it started in 2013 and we haven't had a Batman movie for it. People are, you know, holding pitchforks and, and torches saying, where's Ben Affleck's Batman movie when he doesn't want to be Batman? Sure, he's returned in Aquaman and The Flash, but he doesn't want to be Batman. He's made it clear multiple times and obviously things can change but people are acting like disney or people are acting like warner brothers kicked him out and it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me these people who who want to hate on other people and send messages and these rude comments and saying all these horrific things to people and making up things and this and that just to call yourself a fan and just i don't know I don't know, I'm sure if you're watching this video, then you've probably seen some of the things that I'm talking about. And maybe you're one of the people that does this and you're not going to like this video. But <clears throat> I'm a big DC fan. And I know for a fact, if DC got their act together, they would smoke Marvel. And it would be fun to actually watch Marvel compete with each other. Marvel and DC compete. Because right now the MCU is kind of lacking. It's not as good as it once was. Imagine how much better the MCU would be if the D if DC was really giving it a run for its money. Imagine. I mean, right now we don't have our Iron Man and our Captain America. But imagine if we had a full-on Batman and Superman on screen. Perfect. They don't have to be perfect. But great renditions and inter interpretations of the character. As much as I love this guy, he's attached to a universe that has a lot of baggage. And that's kind of the truth. And if I'm being completely honest, my only real connection or attachment to the his universe is him. I love Man of Steel, and I'm pretty pretty big fan of Zack Snyder's Justice League. I've watched it two or three times now, and I do like it. But I've never had a big connection to Ben Affleck's Batman. I'm not a huge fan of um, Jason Momoa's Aquaman. Um... Wonder Woman, Gal Gadot is Wonder Woman. She does a fine job. I'm not a fan of Ezra Miller as The Flash. It's just not a whole lot for me to love, you know? So maybe that makes me biased. I don't know. But at the end of the day, I know that I'm a DC fan, and I know that the folks over at DC are trying to make something for the fans. And I hope if you've watched this video, maybe it's helped you um, realize that, you know, we're in, we're in, the, uh, we're in store for something good something in store we're in store for something really really good and maybe maybe it doesn't come out the best but at least we know that they tried that they are trying and i think that 
we as fans should sit back and relax and take it easy and really try to figure out what it is that you're uh, really trying to understand what it is that you're uh, oh my gosh try to understand what it is that they're doing and like i said before this is a great character batman is a great character wonder woman wonder woman is a great character the flash the aquaman martian manhunter you've got teen titans and all of these different groups of characters that really deserve to be respected you know batman has had on-screen adaptations uh he's had adaptations on the big screen for the last 30 years and we've seen robin once so i think uh I think it's time for them to open the doors and really give the fans what they want, and I think that's what they're trying to do. So with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, maybe hit that like button, that subscribe button, that notification bell, all that good stuff. If you want to leave a comment and let me know what you guys think about DC and what it is that they're doing. If you're in support of James Gunn and Peter Safran and everybody, all the folks over at DC, let me know. If you're not, give me some of the reasons why, and uh, I think that's pretty much it. And, uh, stay hopeful. That's what this means. Stay hopeful. Or, well, I guess it just means hope. But, with all that being said, I'm gonna head out. And, of course, until next time, true believers.